Well, hello, my friends, and I right now I'm gonna show you my dungeon, and now I gotta have my nice hot Java in my WGN cup right there, see? WGN Morning News. I'm on there every Halloween for five minutes, and this hot October 31st will be my big 20th annual Halloween appearance on WGN Morning News Channel 9 in Chicago. That's nice, good Java. You got in my Java when I'm watching monster movies. And anyway, and I want to say, oh, look, I just want you guys to know, you know, some people might think I'm a little wild and crazy, and uh, oh, you know, the one guy said to me, you know, after, after all these years could being a guest at Monster Bash convention, which I'm a guest every year since 98, I'm the only guest that's been to every single Monster Bash convention. It's the B, Monster Bash in Mars, Pennsylvania. Well, anyway, this guy comes up to me a couple years back in 2010. He says, you know, Rock, uh, you know, I'm waiting for you to, to make a really good movie. I'm wondering, you know, I'm, I'm still waiting for you to come out with a really good movie. You know, I'm wondering if you're going to make it, whatever. And I said, hey, man, I've already made it, man. They just did a documentary on me. They just did the second documentary on me. You know, the, the, back in 2006, Kara Kaler, Chris Kaler and uh, Franklin Wells did this. Can't stop the rock. It's a duck, it's me, with my devil ant, see? And look, there's the back, you know, and you can see them talking to me and stuff. There's a pretty cool picture of me, you know, right there. See, with all my face. So, you know, this is like an interview, okay? And that didn't sell too good. They didn't get a lot of sales right away. But I think, you know, they just didn't promote enough. I mean, sure, they had a website. But you have to promote your website. You got to let people know you got it. You can't... Well, I got a website. I'm going to get all these sales. <laughs> There's billion, millions of websites, you know. What you want to do is email people, contact people, and let them know about your website. And even now, I just got a website. And I don't got that many, uh, I haven't gotten that many sales off my website yet. But that's, you know, I have to improve my website and I'm going to promote it more. It's all about promoting. I'm going to, I got, I got my email on flyers now and uh, I'm going to make a special flyer with my, my website on it, not my email, my website. So people can just order it direct and mail me the mail me the money orders, you know, or mail me the orders instead of contact me by email because I get so much junk email. You know, it's hard to keep up with emails. You know, so I don't like giving out my email address. I'm on Facebook. You can find me on Facebook, David Rock Nelson, and go to my website, davidrocknelson.com, and it's got an address. It's got a list of my movies. You can order my movies through the mail, through snail mail. Only 20 stinging bucks plus postage. If you're overseas, if you're over in the UK, you're going to have to pay more. I can't pay for it. It's like 13 bucks postage for one DVD. <laughs> I'm not going to pay that. Then I'm only making a $7 profit. So, you know, if you're overseas, you got to add the postage because otherwise I'm not making hardly anything, you know. I, I, I'm sorry that you got to pay so much postage, but... I have to, too. I had to pay 13 bucks to mail a guy a disc over to England recently. <laughs> One DVD, so they didn't left me like 7 bucks left out of 20 bucks. <laughs> and I like to buy my girlfriend breakfast once in a while, too. And they, for both of us, that costs like 16 bucks with tags. And I got to leave a couple dollars tip. So, you know, I'm, I got $2 left in my pocket after I buy my girlfriend breakfast at the Niles Grill. Bacon and eggs. She always orders bacon and eggs. Oh, anyway... But if you're here in the U.S., it's only $2 postage. And it's $1 additional for each additional DVD. So if you buy two DVDs, you have to pay a dollar extra for the second one, or a dollar extra for the third, whatever. If you buy five DVDs from me, you get one free. Buy five. Vampire Woman counts as two because that costs 35 bucks. Vampire Woman's a two-disc DVD. That's four, over four hours. That's 35 bucks for Janet Vampire Woman. All the other movies are on one disc. Those are 20 bucks each. Vampire Woman costs 35 bucks because it's on two full-length DVDs. That movie's like over four, four and a half hours long. Four hours and 35 minutes. Plus, you get extras, previews, all the outtakes, all the interviews with Herbert the Fiend, Bustlewitz, my fiend, who passed away back like 2002. May he rest in peace. Uh, but, you know, people are all rock. Uh, how come you haven't made it? You know, I'm surprised. I'm waiting for you to make a good movie. I said, hey, man. I've already made it. I get on WGN Morning News every Halloween. And look, they did a new documentary on me. This, just then, I showed this to this guy. This was outside. They were showing Abbott. I could still go to Mars, you know, on the big screen outside in the back of the Monster Bash. They have an outdoor movie once a year, you know, on late night Saturday. 
And I showed him, I told him on DVD, I said, hey, they just did their documentary on me, The Rock, Edward of the 21st Century. So, I made it. But not just that, I'm not stopping. I'm not going to say, well, I did a documentary a long time ago. I didn't become famous, but, you know, it wasn't meant to be. You know, I'm not a Spielberg. I'm not comparing myself with Spielberg. One guy on a bus says to me, he goes, um, wouldn't you like to be, like, like big time, like Steven Spielberg? I said, no, no, I don't want to be him. I, I, I just want to be me. He goes, yeah, but, but wouldn't you want to be the same caliber? I, I said, no, I'm a B-monster movie maker. I make monster movies. I don't make A movies. I don't, I don't make Hollywood movies that are released, you know, directly to theater. I'd like them to go to the theater. Yeah, I mean, so I want me to show in theaters, but the point is, I'm not just making it to make a quick buck. I'm, I'm doing movies that I like, movies that I think will entertain the people that like my movies. I'm a hero to the independent filmmakers. That's who I want to encourage. Those that need it. The A people, the A film, they don't need me. They, they don't need me to encourage them. They're already making big bucks. They're, you know, they're on TV. That's not my purpose. My purpose is to do my movies my way. I'm like an artist, an artiste. I like to stay true to my vision. Now, if some... Zach Carlson asked me over there at... Philomoca, that Philip Philadelphia mausoleum of contemporary art, by the way. And here's the poster right here. I got the poster. That's the poster. An evening with David the Rock Nelson. Moderated by, hosted by Zach Carlson. Of the Alamo Drift Out Cinema. Yeah, and now he's helping out with Vice Media. If they go around the country interviewing filmmakers like me. They interviewed me. Yeah, and, and the guy... Prince's first manager's son is in charge. Well, he's like, that's that's Evan, Evan Hudley. Yeah, I have my, he's Owen Hudley's son, the son of Hudley. <laughs> I saw him late night on on uh, CNN. Now, this, when we left to go to that thing, that's the day that Prince died. All of a sudden, he gets a gets a message, like a text message. He goes, "Oh no, Prince died." You know. And I wasn't a big fan of Prince, but I like some of his music. You know, but I mean, I mean, I don't buy his albums and stuff. But sure, I like a few of his songs. But kind of sad because his dad was his first manager, a kind of close friend. So may Prince rest in peace. But and um, I like that song. You've got the look. You know, I like that one. You know, with um, what's her name? Sheena Easton. I liked them when he did it with Sheena Easton. Sheena Easton. She's she's hot. She's got a nice body. Yeah. But you know. <laughs> She's looking good for her age, like 56, she's looking great. But anyway, but you know, that. but the uh, point is, Ed, now say, like I said, that Prince's first manager's son is in charge of like Vice Media, you know, and wow. And these guys are v v taping me, recording me, doing a documentary on me, and it might be shown on cable and might be seen by a million people. That's another documentary being done on me. And plus there's Jim Anderson, uh, by the way, you know, well, like I said, Jim Anderson from California, formerly from Chicago, he's doing a one called The Rockumentary. And he started that in 2004. He started before everybody else, but he hasn't finished it yet because he's doing other stuff in Hollywood, little mini movies and stuff. And Jim, if you're out there, man, come on, finish the singing documentary. Come on, finish the rock doc. The Rockumentary. I bet, you know, there's a lot of good previews on YouTube. I guess it takes time. To, it takes years to do that stuff. You know, it, sometimes it takes me years to finish a movie. Giant Horny Toad Monster, I started it in 2006, 2007. I finished it in 2011. So, you know, that took almost five years. You know, about five and a half years to finish. So, you know, <laughs> and then... Devil Ant took me four and a half years to finish. I started that in 94 and I finished it in 99. My camera broke down and the VCR wore out. I had to do sweep floors at Handy Andy to make enough money to buy an arcade 8 millimeter camcorder. And I had to uh, work at an th IMAX theater cleaning 3D specs. I wanted to be the ticket taker. I wanted something easy. But no, they made me in charge. They had me cleaning 3D specs and sweeping the auditorium, which was okay. But, you know, I made enough money to buy an RVCR. Then, then they fired me. After they didn't need me, they got rid of me. It was just temporary. But, you know, I made enough money to buy a VCR, and I made enough money to buy a camcorder by sweeping floors for two and a half weeks at Handy Andy. So I got an R8 millimeter camcorder to finish Devil Ant. That took four and a half years to finish. Oh, and this is a, here's a Frisbee. Use it as a flying saucer. Oh, cool. Okay. But, you know, I stick with a low budget. 
But I only have two of these left. Rock Edward of the 21st Century, and it's on a double bill of my hit, Hoot, Werewolf and the Witch. Do you see, it's a drawing of Werewolf and the Witch. They did. That's, that's me on the cover. Isn't that cool? Artwork. That's Greg Oaks did it. Isn't that cool? I got my camcorder. I got my cup of Java. I got Witch. I got Monster Mask. I got protein powder. Yeah. So anyway, I, I got to take a break right now because yeah, I'm going to the store. So right now I'm going to have some pizza. I got to have some pizza when I'm watching these monster movies. Got to have your pizza. Mmm. 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 And you got to have your nice hot jello. Mmm. 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 Now, people ask me, what do you shoot on? I shot 8mm video. These are 8mm car Not high 8, regular video 8. And here's an 8mm camcorder. This is the last one I have that works. I have one I use for audio. This one. And then this other one, my good fiend Jace Whitman gave it to me. It's kind of worn out now, but I think it might still work. It might still play videos, so that's good. I just use that for playing back the footage that I shot from other movies. So I save all my master tapes. And I'm going to use that in my plumbing movies. Because I filmed the whole movies on those. A lot of them. So they're coming soon on DVD. Yeah, I'm going to release all those eventually. So anyway, it's getting late. i got to go to the store. But, you know, I just here's a movie that I really love. Frankenstein's Daughter. Frankenstein's Daughter. Yeah, it's a great movie, 1958. And here is another copy of it. This is the movie I, I watch most. He's got... Frankenstein's daughter, son of Frankenstein, and 1956, The Werewolf on it. Yeah. That's it. That's the one I watch most late at night when I'm watching monster movies. And having snacks. And right now, I got this, the free meal at church the other night across the street. They got a free meal on Wednesdays. I got free snacks. and Got a free meal. And here's a pastry I got. Cherry and uh, like cheese, cream there, you know. Mmm. Mmm. So... I gotta dunk it. I must dunk it for the mummy. In honor of the mummy. Mmm. 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 Mmm.